man, we are churning and burning through these videos. We are cranking out the content. We're just, we're just cranking it right on up in you. How you like that, huh? Feel good? Okay. How you, what do you think? Hey, he's, he still ain't got paid, but he's, you know, he's standing tall, standing proud. Um, you know what car we're doing now? You've seen the thumbnail, seen the title of the video. It's Teresa's car. Oddly enough, she never drives it. Well, partially because right now it's not running. So, um, let's talk about it. See, see what's going on with it. See if anything's going to be going on with it. That is always the question for 2022. Is anything going to happen? Our story begins in 2011 when we first purchased the car for Teresa to drive and kind of have a five liter. And we kept it stock for quite a while. Um, at this point in time, we put wheels on it, had a exploder intake, and um, <clears throat> had a gear in it. We uh, had put a mass air on it. It had headers, H-pipe, flow masters. I've taken it to the track. She had stock AOD. Took it to the track, and it went like 870s or something like that, 874. Um, weren't really racing it or anything. And then she kind of um, wasn't going to drive it that much anymore. So uh, I was given free reign on it. So I took the uh, AC off, put a different mass air on it, put a Typhoon intake on it. Um, <clears throat> and we put GT40Ps, put a small cam in it, uh, NX264. I put long tubes from AOD on it. Um, we also added the AOD with a Lintec valve body and a B&M whole shot converter. And that woke it up pretty good. We ended up going like 770s with it. But that was the end of the AOD for us. It was time to get serious, put a T5 in it. So I got my main man, Jack, and we started tinkering around with this thing. We got the motor and trans pulled out, went and got us a used clutch from Roger with a mismatched pressure plate and disc. Not our best idea, honestly. Got it all bolted in. We were, you know, pretty happy just to have the man stick sticking up, not the pull matic We took it to the dyno, made 296, 329. Then we took it to the track. But the clutch, our mismatched clutch, kind of come back to haunt us a little bit. We were not happy. Still ran like 770s or whatever, um, you know, which was better than the 780s it ran with the AOD. Obviously, other people enjoyed it immensely, but we vowed to get things squared away in this car. And that was going to entail us getting a, another clutch, a used slip master that we got from Amir. And thankfully, that worked out pretty good. So at this point, we're having a good time with our little stock motor with our 430 gears, our T5, our NX264, our stock GT40Ps with Alex valve springs, our, you know, exploder intake, long tubes, bullets, Team Z suspension in the back, wore out Lakewood struts up front. You know, the whole thing was working pretty decent. Went a couple 751s, a personal best of a 748 at 90. Cars around 2,800 pounds. We knocked out McNugget on that night which was always a good feeling. We also knocked out Brad with his car. He was still trying to get it all dialed in. But by the end of the night, we ended up getting blasted by Pirate. He took us to Pound Town with the nitrous, but, you know, it was all good. But in, all in all, we had a great time, and now let's finish this up, see where we're going to kind of maybe go with the car. If you got any questions, put them in the comments, and I'll try and fill it all in. And that, my friends, brings us to our current sad state of affairs. Um, this car has, well, at the moment, it has no radiator. We, it had a aluminum plastic tank factory replacement. Hey, hand public look like dancing when I'm doing like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, had a factory replacement aluminum plastic tank radiator, which is pretty light. We cannibalized it out of this car and put it in special ed because it was light er now um other than that what's the issue with this car uh we believe it has a burnt 
uh, intake or exhaust valve on number seven cylinder. Um, we've changed the injector, we've plugs, this and that, but that cylinder, it's got a misfire. We drove it for quite a while like that, honestly. And here it is, look, poor thing, it's been sitting. Um, this car actually has a working heater and stuff too. I should probably be driving it. Uh, but it's all here. This car is actually just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Sorry, you can't really see much back there. Um, look at that. It's still got the back seat uh, dealios. I should have done throwing them in the garbage. Um, but yeah, it's been sitting for a while. We still have the front wheels for it. So we got to get new front tires. Um, again, it's just it's just sitting here doing its thing. But uh, we do have plans for this car, if you can believe that. Is this side unlocked? Look at that. Got both doors opening up on it. Sweet. Um, yeah, we have plans for this car. What is the plan? Well, uh, it needs... Um, We've got a set of E7s. Let me get let me let me get started real quick back on that. We need just to get it running. We need to put a radiator in it, put a fan in it. It's not a big deal. We got a radiator and we got a fan. Um, we are probably going to put some stock E7s on it from the GT40Ps. Potentially, depending on what we find. That's what we're thinking right now. And you're like, why would we do that? Well, we've got we had some plans for this car sort of that tie into some other plans that we've been thinking about for quite a few months now. Um, it's nothing, it's not a big deal. It's just some stuff. And um, with ECD closing, that really kind of puts a damper on some of the stuff that, or that particular little thing I was thinking about. But we don't know. ECD may open back up. Maybe by the time we've got this car running, maybe something's been set in stone on it. We don't know. But for 2022, we plan on this car being running, driving type deal. So not exactly sure when we'll get to it, but we are going to do something with this car. So there you go. This car, should be, this car has not been on the channel since sometime in 2019. I have to go back and look, but it's been a while. So, But this car will be making a return. We're pretty, pretty much sure of that. Um, so, all right, cool. Let's wrap this thing up. I realize that these videos are truly substandard, these update ones, because I'm trying to piece them together and do other, you know, I haven't, I've just filmed part of this one and I've got to go home and do the part where I just show some clips of the car and kind of go through the combo and, um, the ET and the mile per hour and all that kind of stuff. So this, these videos are kind of maybe a little history on the car or whatever. So these videos are going to be even more substandard than usual, but at least the information will be out there and you guys kind of know where we stand on all our cars, what our plans for. If you've got a personal favorite, um, you can pretty much guarantee that if I say this is not going to happen this year, then it's not going to happen. I'm trying to stick, trying to stick to getting certain things done, getting cars. And it's about getting cars to a certain place where I'm comfortable working on another one or moving with a moving forward with another one and when I say moving forward because I go down the rabbit hole on them going down the rabbit hole to where I'm find a rabbit and then I come out of it and start going a rabbit hole on another one that doesn't mean I won't tinker around a little bit here and there with some of the other cars doing little oddball things and stuff like that but when I get distracted or I say whatever I start just working I don't work on nothing else so anyway um I'm nice it's nice to see you in a better mood um, so there we go. Should see this car at some point in 2022. We should see it hopefully running again and, and maybe make a track appearance. We're going to have to be, we don't have a lot of track dates. I, you know, it's, that's going to be tricky fitting all these cars in, but we're going to try our best. So we got to make that YouTube money. We got to get these people paid. <laughs> so, all right. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for supporting the channel. We truly couldn't do it. We wouldn't do it without you. How about that? I could just quit and just be done with it. Um, so, yeah, that. Thanks for joining the channel. Thanks for watching. And until next time on the Substandard Leader and Fox Body videos on this here man's YouTube. And women's, men and women's YouTube. 
We'll see you guys in the next vid, and there will be one, because God knows we got more cars to do.